Hi and welcome. I'm Kristen, the brand strategist, website designer, and commercial photographer for creative businesses. Today I'm going to show you how to add your Flowdesk form to your Show It website. So right here, this is my website. All the way at the bottom, I have a little sign up form so that people can come and grab their free brand clarity guidebook. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have both Show It and Flowdesk opened up um, in your tabs. And hopping on over here to Flowdesk, I created a really simple ribbon form. Um, I didn't add in a title or a subtitle. I deleted those so that I could go in and show it and kind of customize this as much as I wanted to. I love show it. So I was able to do three lines instead of the two. Um, so I created a really, really simple ribbon form. Once you're done, like choosing all of your customizations and designing it, go ahead and click embed. You'll be prompted to go all the way to the end. You'll get two little snippets of code. So the first thing we're going to do is copy this very top one. And we're going to be placing this in the header section of our website. So we're going to just put copy. And we're gonna hop on over here to show it. So over here in the site section, I am placing this on my home page. So once you click on home, so I'm gonna click about just to toggle off of it because I was actually clicked on something. But once you click on home, you will get all of the settings over here and you'll be able to go to advanced settings and you're gonna click here where it says custom head HTML. And then you're gonna paste in that code here. I already have it in here. That's how you were able to see it in the very beginning. You're just gonna paste it right here and click save. Super easy. But I can tell you it has gotten confusing for a couple of people. I've given this tip to you because if you do click on anything on this page, so even if you just click to start to edit this section, that option goes away over here. And even when you click home, it's saying, hey, you're already on home. And it doesn't give you those options. So that's why you have to click, click on a different page really fast click back on the home page, and then you'll get all of those options over here where you'll see advanced settings, and you'll be able to paste it into the custom head HTML section. That is just so that it can reference and know like where it's gonna pull its code from, but then we have to put in the actual code, like the little box that we see here, so we can visually see it. So we're gonna go back in here to Flowdesk. We are gonna push copy for this second section here. We've got it copied to our clipboard. I'm gonna come back here and just show it, and you're gonna pick your little section that you're going to want to edit and you're going to want to add it to. So we're adding it here. If I hover over here, you actually will see that this little outline of a box, I already have it here, but I'm going to do it with you again. Um, it does not show up on the back end uh, as far as like show it, but as soon as you hit preview, it does show it there. Once you hit publish, it does show it, but it just kind of looks invisible. Just FYI, you're not crazy. It happens on the back end of mine too. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go here to this, hover over this little frame icon, click embed code, and then we're going to click on this so that we can go ahead and add that in. So once we get, we're clicked on it, we're going to put embed info and click custom code. Here is where we will put command B and we'll paste that little snippet that we just grabbed from Flowdesk. We'll go ahead and click save and then it's automatically here for you. You're gonna readjust it. You're gonna have to go and click preview a couple of times to go and make sure. I'm gonna delete this one just so I don't have like duplicates on top of here, but we'll see right now. So this is the invisible one <laughs> that you can't see, but as soon as you click preview here, you'll be able to see it. Let's say and scroll to the bottom and there you go right here for you. You will want to just kind of like adjust this, bring it out wider. If yours is longer, you have a first name and a last name, widen it, click preview again, get it until it's perfectly right. Once you are done, you're just going to go ahead and click publish and then you will have it looking just as beautiful as this on your show it website. Um, if you have not actually signed up for the paid version of Flowdesk yet and you want to save a little bit of money, you can grab 50% off with code Kristen Fulci. And that's going to bring you down to about $19 a month, saving your business so much money. And you can continue working with such an amazing email marketing program. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button and comment below and I will see you next time.